The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. The Champ. That is just what you're going to call me from now on. The fucking Yikes. Champ. And alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. That is comedians. not what I'm going to call you. Nope. That's fine. You can, you can do whatever you want, but I am the fucking Champ. Uh, I, I'm the Champ, actually. Oh, whatever. Uh, but alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the very funny man with a huge gambling problem and a crazy-ass wife. Please welcome Mr. Steve Peters. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, yeah. that could actually Hello, be everyone. both Hello, of you. Welcome to the show. Uh, to yes, the show. but also. Welcome to the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> he is the 2021 and 2023 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek. Because he Rec cheated. Alders, because he cheated. You can call me the champ. He paid off the judges for I, 2023. That's, yeah. that's what it is. We're just the champs. Yep. That's that's what are the There's champs. There's no we, Scott. Oh, no. I, the mm. There's only I. Huh? There's only I. Oh, whatever. Uh, but anyways, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. It is 2024, ladies and gentlemen. New year. New year, new me and shit. Not really. I'm still mm -hmm. the same old piece of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways. Yeah, I noticed nothing had changed when I walked in the door today. <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, this is still a... Still wearing your French tickler. I am. Uh, <laughs> but this, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sideline show, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, uh, there are, a lot of them are targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if you are one of those people, get the fuck out of here. You're in the wrong place. Thanks. Bye. Uh, yeah, uh, we had uh, a very exciting week. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. I think I think we're going to kick this show off uh, like we always do with a week week recap because uh, we got a lot of other stuff. We got headlines. A lot of football happened. Obviously, I, I get to I get to tell you guys about my week and I'm really excited about it. Uh, but we've got Never Have I Ever, uh, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions and Preguntas, a fun draft sent in by a listener, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then we wrap things up, as always, with a shitty situation. And, uh, yeah, that's how the show kind of works. So follow along at home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. Paint yeah. by numbers, guys. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yep, here we go. Uh, but to kick the show off, we always talk about what happened to us over the last week because we know that you guys really actually do care and give a shit. Uh, and we call it our week, week recap. Yeah. Uh, you know, Steve, you want us to kick this thing off? Uh, yes, I wasn't prepared, but I will. Okay. Um, always be prepared, Steve. Always be, the be last prepared. Week, ABP, the last that's what week. they say. I, I don't even know what happened the last week. I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. I don't understand what time it is anymore. Like, being off, like, for the holidays and shit, and just, like, I, I don't know yeah. really what happened. Like, everything just ran into each other. And it's all one blur, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do remember New Year's Eve at my bar because it was a fucking nightmare. And it was extremely annoying. And I had to work. Uh, and so I did not spend New Year's Eve. I didn't even drink. On really? New Year's Eve. Yeah, not at all. Wow. Uh, my wife, this is how bad it was at one point. My wife goes, here, here's some champagne. And I go, fuck your champagne. <laughs> so that literally was uh, was how well it was going while I was covered in uh, espresso martinis that the shaker broke open and just went all over me. So nice. it was not a fun time, uh, but I'm, I gotta be honest with you. I'm ready to go back to normal. Yeah. Like I, I'm done. Like this is, I'm, I'm done. I you know, too. like let's, let's get back to some normal. I like to think really, the espresso martinis, like just made your nipples hard the whole night. Like they were, <laughs> yeah, just, for sure. Like definitely. they were just high on yeah, caffeine. Yeah. And then you have a little suck and get a little espresso. <laughs> yeah. out of them. So yeah, it was awesome. 
It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, I'm I'm just ready for normalcy. It was a nice Christmas, a nice New Year, all that good stuff. But dude, fuck, like yeah. let's go to work. Yeah, you I'm, know? I'm kind of the same way. I'm. It, it is all. Oh, it's been such a fucking blur. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you had uh, you were running a little bit behind tonight. Yeah. Uh, what happened? More bar problems. Oh no shit. Yeah. Uh, the uh, that lady that I live with. Um, <laughs> She goes down and tries to hook up all the karaoke stuff for the bar on Tuesday and Wednesday. And every single Tuesday, surprise, surprise, there's a problem. (laughs) Uh, Today was no different. And she was convinced that I needed new cables and all kinds of things. So I went to Guitar Center, bought $60 worth of cables, uh, came back to the bar, and then just turned the volume up. (laughs) Fixed. Yay. (laughs) Not frustrating at all. You are the you problem know? solver, yeah. Steve. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Did you go home for a minute, jump on the trampoline, celebrate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's. Fuck my life, dude. That's, I need help. I need a lot of help. Uh, anyway. Yep. Tried to play poker today, and literally every three seconds, someone was either calling or texting or something with a fucking problem or a question or a. It's just or an, ite- just, an itinerary for the show. Yeah, I'm ready for. Uh, I'm ready to just go back to work. <laughs> I, I'm just. I welcome it. Yeah, I just definitely. imagine your phone ring and they're like, "Steve, Steve, my phone's not working." Yeah, that's about, <laughs> what are you yeah. calling me on? Yep, that's. Thanks. Uh, I literally have a text message just like that. A dude named Corey Swindler, you fucker, if you listen to this, I'm calling you out. He's my friend. Um, he texted me and he goes, "Hey man, I don't know what your phone number is. What's your new telephone number?" And I go, "You just texted me on my telephone." He goes, "No, I didn't. I think I'm on Sam's phone, his girlfriend's phone." I said. Check it again because it's coming up as your phone. He goes, oh, holy fuck. I guess I do have your phone number. And he was on his own phone. That's the type of shit we're dealing with every day. So uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I am sad to be in your circle now. Like I feel like I, <laughs> yeah, I have got to be like somewhat retarded. No. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're one of the Einsteins in my circle. Nice. So, yeah, uh, it's good. I'm it's like, good. Uh, what is it, Luke Wilson and Idiocracy. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Exactly. You need water to make these grow. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yep, yep. That's awesome. Fuck. I love it. Anything else? Anything else? Did you do comedy at all? No, man. And I got to be honest with you. I've been like really missing it. Oh, yeah. Oddly. Like, I, there for a while, it was a real nice break just working and, mm-hmm. and not doing comedy for a little bit. But the last <laughs> couple times I've been on stage, I've done really well. And, like, I'm really, really missing it bad. Yeah. So I told Mikey Baldwin that we needed to go on stage somewhere, and he agreed, and Scott Schaefer. So we will see what happens. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I'm tired of not doing comedy. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Well, uh, I guess I, I will go with. With, I'll get mine out of the way. Fuck everybody, yeah. everybody Here knows. Everybody fucking knows. Uh, but I won fantasy football for the fourth year in a row. No third, or no, you didn't win well, the year. The year I last, was last last year. There is an asterisk because oh boy. Oh boy. because Hamlin died on the field, and I decided to do the right thing. And so technically, not I, fourth year in a row. Technically, I lost, but I yeah. I, I should have won. Oh, is that, that yeah. what do you mean you decided to do the right thing? So the most other leagues last year, whenever Demar Hamlin died, uh-huh. all of the Bills players and the Bengals players didn't play. It was it was like a couple of minutes. Yeah, and so. Yeah. If I was if, if I was like all of the other leagues, I would have won in a landslide because oh. the guy died and the game was canceled. Sure, yeah, that so would definitely put a wrench in. Things. I decided, like an idiot, to give my opponent an extra week for those players, and he ended up beating me because he also had the Bills defense, who ended up uh, I think running back three kickoff returns for touchdowns. All so right. yeah, that was awesome. Nice. Um, so but, yeah, not nice. the fourth, so fourth year. I'm gonna call it four. But anyways, um, it was a lot of fun uh, over the last uh, last couple of months. I mean, I was the last team to make it into the playoffs for fantasy football. Mm-hmm. I was the sixth team. I was like seven and seven all fucking year. Didn't do that great, and somehow pulled it out. So, all right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, proud. If only of you. your dad would have so, done that. <laughs> yeah. So thanks, proud man. of you. Just pulled it out. That's right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited. Um, but. 
obviously I had a good I had a good New Year's. Uh, I'm I'm with Steve. Everything has just been a blur from Christmas. Dude, it's just it, nuts. It's it's been yeah. absolutely wild. Yeah. Um, but it was it was kind of nice. I got to hang out with my brother. We celebrated. You know, rang in the the New Year. I actually stayed up, Fuck which yeah. I normally don't do. Nice. Um, probably drank way too much alcohol. Nice. And, uh, yeah, not not good. No, nah, uh, it's but, great. But then New Year's Day. I stayed the fuck home. I didn't move. I we, yeah, we kind of did the same I thing. Bu- I built a yeah. fire in the fireplace nice. and just that's the spot you should do that. Yeah, at. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, don't do that outside of the fireplace. No, in yeah. the house, kind of dangerous. Yeah. The kitchen floor work. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't do anything. We just stayed home, stayed warm, and just fucking chilled out. And it was very, very nice because I know, like, <clears throat> if you go out on New Year's Day, you're just looking for a place of business that's fucking open, and yeah. they're all fucking closed. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, fuck that. I didn't. I don't want to do that. I like uh, it. But I rang in the New Year, my favorite way. We went to bed, and on New Year's Day, I swear to you, I woke up, and the first thing that I turned on was the Dave Chappelle new Hell comedy yeah, special. Hell yeah, dude. I haven't even watched it yet. Holy fuck. Fuck the first probably five minutes. Uh, he he did probably my favorite joke that he's ever done. Uh, really, it was so well written, and of course he is pissing off the the transsexual crowd again. Uh, but he's it, right here. I know <laughs> he hasn't fully he hasn't fully committed yet though. Oh, yeah, okay. I just got right. the tits. Okay. Got the my nice. dick is nice. regressing though. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. it's an innie now. <laughs> it's getting there. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, and it it was it was one of my favorite specials that Dave's ever done. I don't think it was by far the funniest. The first five minutes was the funniest thing I've sure. ever seen. But Dave has kind of gotten into this thing of he gets very preachy. He gets preachy, and I he is very. Preachy. But I still fucking enjoy it. I love it when he does that. Yeah. So so that was how I rang in my new year, and then I also watched uh, and I watched Gervais's uh, right after that. Nice. So I I, I nice. got a new nice. a new. You know, specials of comedy that I got to watch and I really Hell enjoyed. yeah, dude. Hell but yeah. yeah, that was it. That was my whole fucking week. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the fantasy football bullshit. Thank so, God. Yeah, like, thank it, Scott. He's like, and there I was, fourth and 15. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tell us every <laughs> All play. I needed was a three Pray. point conversion to win yep. the league. Praying that Patrick Mahomes doesn't complete another pass. Oh, I won by 1.2 points. That's oh, uh, nice. Yeah, that's how I that's how I got it. But anyways, Derek, you had a fun filled weekend. I know you did. What'd you do? Fuck yeah, you did. I, I guess I had an awesome weekend. Yeah. Uh sounds like. Yeah. God, what'd I do? Well, it was you uh you had Christmas and then New Year's. Yeah, mm-hmm. we all had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, you know. that wasn't just me, Scott. I had well, Kwanzaa. Well, first off, <laughs> I would like to mm-hmm. I would like to take a moment first off to uh recognize I I was very pissed off today. When I went into work, oh. a because I had to go to work, yeah, mm-hmm. because it's a fucking national holiday. Yep, it is Jeremy Joseph's birthday. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, happy birthday, Jeremy so Joseph. I, I had texted Jeremy and I said that I was. I'll, I'll actually read the conversation. Oh boy, <laughs> I I had texted him and I said. So I'm suing my job for religious discrimination. I told them today was a national holiday because on this day, our Lord and Savior, Jeremy Joseph, was born. Oh, my. Not only did I still have to work, but I didn't even get time and a half. (laughs) Jeremy responds, do you want me to come in tomorrow and smite them? (laughs) I said, if you could just send a plague their way, that would be good. I agree. Maybe locusts? Yeah. That's true. He sends back, locusts aren't really in season right now. (laughs) I can probably whip up some boils and sores. Nice. I said, I like it. Maybe take out a few firstborn sons, too. (laughs) So happy birthday, Jeremy. Yes. Yep. Um, But, uh, yeah, so Christmas uh, was, was fun. Uh, I went down to Kansas City to see my stepmom up there. Uh, I always everything is down. Steve. I know, it's everything. so strange. Yeah. <laughs> so why I do to, you do that? Me? Yeah, you say going down no matter where. Because I go. like to go down. <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> do. <laughs> <laughs> On dudes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, so I went down to uh, <laughs> went down to go see my stepmother and my family down there, and actually it was. It was a lot of fun. The yeah. first year we ever did like Christmas games, which I didn't really, I, I did one of them. I didn't do the other one. 
The other one, you kind of like had to twerk a candy cane or some shit. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> you should have. No, nah, but were we you put catching like a- donuts on your erect penis? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Christmas game. Donut. Oh, nice. All right. Fuck, we don't need you yeah. bragging over here. Oh, the here. little donuts. Fucking right. <laughs> fucking mandingo yeah. over here uh, and then for the ladies you just pitch the donut holes and they catch those yeah yeah so uh, and then i left like half my gifts there i forgot them oh well that so doesn't that, make you sound like an asshole yeah people are like my step it was didn't like i buy this for daring it was like some of the shit that i was really excited to get because here oh, i shit. always play that fucking game that uh scotty has upstairs yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 and Hell my yeah. stepmom got me a cubs one and I'm oh, like, oh dude, this that's is badass. fucking great I, love like, it. I was like she has no idea that i play that game like I was like, you have no idea how addicted to this shit I am. That's awesome. And so it was like that, some puzzle that I could fidget with like for hours, which seems yeah. amazing. And then uh, like some really nice ink pens for work. Cool. Nice. I was like, fuck. And I, that's, I was like, I didn't, of all the shit to leave. However, I felt really shitty because she got us like every year she gives us pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. And boy, she missed the mark. Uh, oh really yeah I, yours were a little lacy this year i have never been a 4x in my life <laughs> <laughs> i am still not a 4x she just went to the store and was like i need something for a fat piece of shit <laughs> yeah. and they were like here you go lady yeah. <laughs> last one in stock yep <laughs> that's awesome that's so, great i love that yeah but it's kind of nice to get a 4x or something every once in a while because you're like oh this is way too big for right me. yeah you know? like i'll wear the people shirt are like is it though yeah you know? <laughs> Like the shirt, it reminds me like when I used to put on my dad's work shirts yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And then the pants, I can uh, fit another person in them with me. Nice. Um, <laughs> wow. Then that I, sounds like a sexy time. It sure does. She uh, she told us she's taking a trip. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to Vietnam mm. in February, randomly. Okay. So, and I, of course, had told her now she can, when she gets back, she can tell us about her time in Nam. Yeah. And I told her that she wasn't going to make memories. She's going to make flashbacks. Yeah. (laughs) The only thing I know about Vietnam, I learned from Full Metal Jacket. (laughs) That's it. I I told her to make sure, like, it's a really common name over there is Charlie. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Yeah. Yep. And two boo Those are the the two things you got to (laughs) remember. So you think they still don't like us over there? Uh, I don't know. Like half of them. I heard they do. I heard they like us. All right. That's fine. I mean, they killed enough of us. I like their, Uh, I like their soup. Yeah, I do too. I I love pho. Really? Pho? A psycho, dude. I love it. I don't. So good. But, uh, so yeah, uh, went and did that. I watched, uh, the end of Letter Kenny. Yeah, nice. it was actually a really good season. In yeah. the first episode, they do they're all trying stand up comedy. No, and it's really? fucking great. That's like, awesome. I was like, this is like the best episode for me ever. Yeah, That's dope. So I, I really like enjoyed that. And and Squirrely Dan did the did you ever notice? Yeah, like ah, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. So finish kinda, that. Kind of makes fellow wonder. Yep. Mm-hmm. Don't it? Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then, uh, New Year's Eve went to a friend of mine's house. And uh, partied over there, and I've decided at least until we go on vacation, I'm gonna make an attempt to lose weight. I'm doing yeah. I'm that and that. Dude. Nice, nice. So I ate it, ate bullshit today for breakfast and lunch, which sucked. Um, but I was like, well, that's gonna mean not drinking too. So I got annihilated <laughs> because it's a lot nice. easier to quit drinking if you yeah, have the worst hangover is. in the yep. fucking world the 100%. next day yep. so i did that for medical reasons <laughs> nice nice <laughs> I was so drunk. I we got we took an Uber home. I was smart. Yeah, yeah good. that's good. And uh, forgot to tip the Uber driver. <laughs> You're an asshole. Because I was just trying to like keep my eyes shut, not to vomit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I get in the house, and then the next morning I wake up at the crack of noon, and <laughs> nice. uh, I'm like, oh fuck, I don't think I tipped the Uber driver. <laughs> And so I look at my phone, and the app is still up. And I'm like, oh, sweet, 25%. Nice. That's <laughs> so awesome, dude. She was probably like, that guy's a fucking asshole. Yeah. And then the I next day, it. she was like, oh, breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. yeah, exactly. So. Well, uh, gangster. And then uh, we tried to go out to eat yesterday uh, with my buddy Brian and his wife. And nothing was open. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we yeah. ended up going to Newport, and I took out a small loan and got dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's uh, have you a been place. To New- have yeah. you been to Newport? It's a little pricey. Yeah. I, yeah, I love pricey. it. I fucking love it. That's, Shit. That's my favorite. Uh, sorry, Steve's gambling sorry, right now. The yeah. uh, fucking idiots just scored. Yeah. Shit, I think I just won 10 bucks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so. so, yeah, <clears throat> we did that, and uh, 
Brian got some. Like my favorite food is scallops. I fucking love scallops. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they have good ones. Yeah, he got. I got them. I've only been to Newport once uh, on our anniversary, mm -hmm. and thank God we uh, had an appetizer somewhere else before. Yeah, because uh, I got scallops for like forty eight dollars, oh, and they shit. brought out three scallops. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, fucking thirteen dollars a scallop or something. Nice. Like, so uh, gangster. Yeah. So uh. Brian uh, is like, dude, you got to try this, and puts a scallop on my plate, and I'm like, hell yeah! So yeah. I fucking crack it, or I eat half of it. And I go to eat the other half. I've got it on my fork. And my wife's kind of looking at me like, hey. <laughs> and, and I just looked at her and I went. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that nice. And she's like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Welcome like, to the fucking show. I'm like. You try to take a scallop, you're getting five across the eyes. I <laughs> love it. That's awesome. So, and then to, to cap it off today, uh, this is the first time I've seen this guy at work. Uh, we're sitting there. It's like 930 in the morning. And I'm like, is that guy filming the bank? And, oh, uh, shit. That's my not boss good. goes out. And he says, what are, you, uh, what are you doing? Is there something I can help you with? He's like, I don't answer questions. I'm gathering evidence. Oh, my gosh. And he's like, those guys are great. All right. So he goes, well, I'll just let the cops handle it. And he walks back in. We call our security people. They call the cops. <clears throat> and the cops just like, and I was telling one of the guys, I was like, I bet it's one of those people that's just like trying to get you to fucking react. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, those yep. people fucking suck. They dude. go, yep, we know exactly who that is. It sounds exactly like what he looks like. No need in us coming out. I mean, he's he knows his rights. He's on the he's on the sidewalk. He's technically he not doing like anything a illegal. Yeah, so yeah. he just sat there and like filmed the bank for like an hour and a half. Yeah, and like it was if you moved, like I went to go talk to one of the guys at one of the desks. Yeah, and so he's like here, and then he fucking moves the camera like to where I'm at, talking like I'm gonna do something. You should have just flipped him and off I'm, the whole time. I'm not gonna give him any content. Yeah, I know. It's I'm like fun. fuck it. So does he have like a YouTube channel or some? Yeah, shit? he's got 47 subscribers. No. Oh, I'll be darned. He's, he's nice. catching us. He's, he is catching us. Yeah. I'll be damned. So, well, do we have any idea what his name is? We uh, can go fuck with him. Douchebag. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's first uh, and nice. last name. Two G's. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. I love it. So. Uh, well, shit. Well, I'm glad. I'm. I'm glad everybody had a safe uh, 2024. I uh, hope all of you guys out there were safe as well. Um, oh, and Brian yeah. got me something kick ass for Christmas. Oh yeah, you got to tell him. So <clears throat> Brian always fucking. Brian and I always do get each other really, really cool shit for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, this year, I don't know if you knew this, but the Atlanta Braves did a bobblehead, uh, and it was Outcast. Really? I didn't so, know that. Yeah, it's fucking oh, shit. cool as shit. So I found one on eBay and bought it, and then I also got him. The Brooklyn Nets did a Notorious B.I.G. one. Nice. So I got him Outcast and Biggie, and then uh, he got me a baseball signed by Harry Carey. Oh, shit. Fuck. Dude, that's kind of badass. It's pretty fucking kick-ass. That that's awesome. awesome. Because last year he got me a sign like index card by Chris Farley. Yeah. Oh wow. And I he's like, dude, when he give it when he gave it to me last year, he's like, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm never gonna spend this much on you fucking Christmas again. But yeah. I saw this and you had to have it. And yeah. I was like, all right. It goes next year you're getting socks. I'm like, that's all I want. <laughs> and so this year. He has it in his box, and it's Cubs socks. Yeah. And I'm like, sweet, socks. And I pick it up. I'm like, fuck. Like, because there, there's a baseball in yeah. there. But he had it packaged, like, perfectly. That's so. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it was cool. super cool. Very awesome. cool. Uh, but anyways, hope everybody had a great New Year's. Let's ring in 2024 uh, with uh, headlines, you know, stuff Yay. that happened. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, first things first, we kick this thing off with college football. College football, that was uh, kind of the New Year's that thing. That was actually a pretty fun day of college football. It man. really I was. I kind of enjoyed every game I watched. I did, except for the Florida State against Georgia. Game. I did not watch that one. Uh, it was an absolute slaughtering. Right? Oh, no shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Georgia absolutely trounced Florida State. There were like 30 players that didn't play. Correct. And what? that's, yes. That Wait a second. is the problem. Why? What because happened? They don't get anything out of it. Transfer portal was like oh, so 15 they just said of them. fuck it. Yeah, they just said fuck out. it. So now all of these okay. great football players are sitting on the are, are not even there half of them. So no it's like, shit. Yeah, they don't it, it doesn't mean anything. They're not winning a trophy, they're not going to the national title. They Yeah, don't but they get really, pop tarts and shit, right? Yeah. Okay. A Which, couple were injured, a couple were entering the draft, like <clears throat> oh, over half of them were in the transfer portal so yeah. they didn't play. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. That sounds horrible. So uh, there was a whole bunch of people that were like, see, told you they should didn't have any, uh, you know, they shouldn't have been in the, the final four. It's a whole oh, different team. It's a off. whole yeah. different team. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. They played great. They should That's have like been. That's like me like, see, I technically won four fantasy football yeah. championships in a row. See? Yeah. <laughs> 
Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But yeah, uh, I gotta I gotta say the Michigan against mm. Alabama game was a fucking phenomenal game. Oh, that was an amazing game. It was dude. a great game. And I was getting raped at a Newport Grill, so I didn't get to see. <laughs> you that didn't get one. to see it. Yeah. And I bet Michigan. Yeah. And I hope I, that Harbaugh's our coach next year. For Chicago, mm-hmm. they I said they're keeping Eberflus. Yeah. I, I good luck for the rest of 2024. They said, but uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. But yeah, I he, don't believe that. But he absolutely outcoached Saban. <coughs> Eberflus <coughs> fucking sucks. Not Eberflus. No, no. Uh, no we're no, just no, no, Harbaugh. About yeah, Harbaugh outcoached uh, outcoached Saban big for time. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and so with that, because Michigan beat Alabama, I think Nunnally, Justin Nunnally, a friend of the show, he mm-hmm. had to like put on a, a Michigan jersey and say the fight song wearing a <laughs> diaper. <laughs> So, congratulations to you. Hope you enjoyed the hell out of that, Justin. Uh, but, yeah, uh, then the last one was Washington. Mosh- Washington holding off Texas. I did yeah. watch that. That was, that, was, that was impressive. That was that was something. That came down to I, – I thought Texas might make a run there at the very end of I that. I did, too. I and really they, did, too. And they did. Yep, they yeah, did. They, they tried. tried. Yep. Here's the thing is they're talking, you know, with – I know I'm probably skipping ahead a little bit. But, That's okay. Uh, you know, with Caleb Williams should be one overall. He's the hands down one. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, I don't know if you saw what USC was chanting after they won their game. Uh, they were there was footage of them just chanting, "We're a team now. We're a team now." Oh, I think that's no. a, they think that's a shot at Caleb Williams. One hundred percent, it is. <clears throat> and uh, huh. I think you take. I I don't know. I think there's an argument to take Penix one overall. That guy, looked, I agree uh, with that. That guy yeah. looked fucking yeah, amazing. He did. He did. So he if really the Bears did. decide to move on, I hope they don't. But I hope they, they keep Justin Fields. I do. Too. I really do, man. But I think that guy's amazing. I think the only way you don't is if you get Penix. Yeah, maybe. I like Penix, but I like Fields. I like Fields. I think he's just. Where's Penix? I think I think Washington. Fields. I think okay, Fields is guy, one man. decent coach away from being fucking unstoppable. I, I really do, and I don't I, think Matt Eberfluss is the guy. I think he's a receiver away. I think you look at the difference. Yeah, with that's Jalen, true. Jalen yeah. Hurts, once he got A.J. Brown, yep. Yep. I think if you that's go true. get Fields, Marvin Harrison Jr., yep. and now you've got two. Yeah, so. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm actually I'm glad you guys brought that up because that was my <laughs> question. I was I, I Because you guys are Bears fans, like me not being a Bears fan, but but my team being in the same division, Yeah, uh, I want you guys to get rid of Fields. Oh, dude. I want you guys to get rid Speaking of Fields. Speaking of the Lions. Oh, we'll get there in a second. Okay. No, All fuck, right. we'll get okay. there in a fucking second. You fucking filthy, but filthy, filthierton. Be, being in the same division as the Bears, mm-hmm. as a Lions fan, I want you guys to move on from Fields because I yeah. think that would be a worse decision. Oh, for so, sure. So yeah. I, th- I think I think if you guys are Bears fans, you want Fields. And, oh. I, and the crowd 100%. and the 100%. crowd was chanting it yeah. at the end of the game. They're like, "We want, fields. we want fields." Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that's the right thing. He's young, he's fast, he can blow a game wide fucking open. He's too. fucking fantastic in the media. Make the Penix your backup for like the two years or a year. Mm-hmm. Sure, you could because you're gonna have to pay Fields next year and mm-hmm. the year after. And mm-hmm. then, and the other thing is, is he's a, he's a mobile quarterback that is injury prone. Mm-hmm. So you need Very to have so. somebody <clears throat> that's yep. behind him. So. I hope you. I hope that's what you guys do. I hope you guys keep Fields. I hope you fire Eberflus. Uh, oh, I mean, shit. I mean, if I was hoping the Bears to to be good again, right? That, that's that's kind of right. you know they're gonna fire Getzy and trade the one. Ah, oh, that would be so fucking bad. That's what they're so gonna do. So bad. They're gonna trade it. Hopefully, if they trade it, they trade it to like New yeah. England. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but uh, moving on to the next topic, I was gonna say is uh, go Flacco, go. Oh boy, Joe fucking Flacco. It takes the Browns to the fucking playoffs by going up against the New York Jets, who I think had given up like 165 yards, uh, passing yards, to everybody else that played. And it took a 38-year-old Joe Flacco playing for the fucking Browns to come in without Amari Cooper Yep, and torched the shit out of him. Torched him. him. Yeah. Fucking awesome. And Joku looked like he was a fu- he was god mode. Yeah, I had Amari Cooper on my fantasy team, and he was out, so that sucked. I wouldn't have played him anyway because I didn't want to go up against the Jets defense. Right, right. So uh, good they for him. All over him. Good yeah. for fucking him. And I thought I could have swore he was in his forties. I could have swore Flacco was in his. 40s. Yeah, I thought he was maybe even older than that. I know. <laughs> I swear. I thought he was somebody's grandpa. He's Thirty-eight years old. I thought he was Joe Burrow's natural grandfather. Possibly, <laughs> but. 
I, I tell you what, in the playoffs, that is the team I'm secretly rooting for. Really? Kind of, man. I want them to go far in the playoffs because I just like it when old people do fun <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> people were like, people were like, back in the day, there's like Flacco. I cannot believe Flacco will ever win a Super Bowl. And he ends up winning the Super Bowl right. with the Ravens because right. of Ray fucking Lewis. Yeah. Now he's on the Browns, who has an exceptional defense in themselves, and all Flacco has has to do is not turn the fucking ball over and they could win he it's true. actually uh he had a hell of a game that super bowl that whole playoff run he was fantastic. he was fantastic so that wasn't all because of it Ray wasn't Lewis. but yeah, they scored like fucking they were up like three touchdowns at half yeah and then the point. power went out yeah exactly <clears throat> so anyways that I'm, makes I'm, me think it's rigged a little bit though, yeah don't you? sure like uh, I'm blackout <laughs> you can't have a blowout here somebody called buffalo wild wings right um, moving on uh, to what everybody wants to see my reaction for. Yay. The Detroit Lions l- ends up getting beat by the how Dallas the Cowboys. How the fuck did that happen, dude? That they is... How did that happen? That is the officials fucked that up. They fucked that up. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows it. You can see... Um, and I can't even think I, I'm, I'm very foggy right now. I just don't feel very good, mm-hmm. but you could see, well, you could, you can see him other, going up and reporting. You can see him going up and yeah. reporting as eligible. Yeah. And it's the, fucking stupid the that referee, they have to do that anyway. I, there's, if there's a certain number of players on the field, like, th- that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just think that that's kind of fucking dumb. They make you do that because of Bill Belichick won a Super Bowl by not doing it. And it yeah. pissed everybody off. Yeah. So they make you do it. And I understand that, but this is something that it is before the game, before the game, the yeah. coaches address this with the officials yeah. and say, <laughs> Hey, you know, they even ask the coach and say, hey, is there going to be any trick plays that we need to kind of be prepared? To, and, right. And they come right. out and they say, hey, you know, if we get into this situation, I'm right. going to use this guy as an eligible receiver just so you're aware. And they yeah. tell them that up front. Yeah. And that it was like in one ear, out the other, and they fucked that up. The players did everything correctly. The coach, I mean – Dan Campbell has a fucking wheelbarrow for his nuts. I mean, three shots he's got the biggest balls in the NFL. And and I yeah. and you know what? You live and die by that kind of shit. Yeah. And, that, and they end up yeah. losing the game. But if it would have been correctly called, the Lions would have won. Which yeah. makes me extremely happy because I even I kept on saying the Lions haven't beat anybody all season other than the Chiefs without Kelsey. Yeah. That's the yeah. only really big win. They <clears throat> lost to the Bears. It's like you know, they don't have a fucking... A, a, Bears have won five of their last seven. True. But they don't have a con- consistent, like, you know, they don't look good consistently. Mm-hmm. So I said if they beat Dallas and Dallas looked the fuck out, they may be a Super Bowl contender. Right. But they didn't. But they and didn't. They didn't look good. But now after this, mm-hmm. I think they're even more dangerous in the playoffs. They are going to be pissed yeah and so they could go on a fucking run i'm still saying that i i, I don't have a, a lot of confidence but i'm obviously rooting for them but that may have like lit a fire under their ass but i don't like playing the rams right now that's who we would play dude in fuck the that yeah the rams, <laughs> good luck with that shit i'm just betting the over and calling it good jesus <laughs> christ that game would be so fun to watch if you yeah. if you want to watch a good football game yep. but yeah, there's that. So yeah, that's my that's my take on the uh, the, the Detroit Lions. It was Cowboys. it was it was bad. I I was very surprised. I yeah, guess I, yeah. I don't know. It was that was wild. That was really wild. I have to feel like more people are slowly coming to my side. <laughs> that the refs <laughs> oh, they're like they're scripted. scripted. Not it's necessarily not scripted, scripted. That the refs the refs are influencing the refs, the refs determine the outcomes of these games more often than not. Yes, and it's fucking ridiculous that and, that happens. And that is why. And not to sound like fucking Kermit the Frog after a <laughs> bad loss, but I mean, I don't. I still don't understand Patrick Mahomes bitching about that. Like it, the dude either. was very clearly offside. He, like bu- he got a bullshit got a, passing yeah. interference call. Yeah, on New it was kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of dumb. Or but not passing, anyway, uh, not pass interference. But grounding. No, the I, grounding call was bullshit. I do yeah. feel like. I feel like the. <clears throat> I wish there could be some reversals. You know yeah. what I mean on on the like a, a they, challenge challenge maybe or something. Like I don't know. I don't know what you would do there. I don't know how you would do that. They tried it but, once. Really? They tried to do it with pass interference. I remember where that. It was going to be reviewable if it was or wasn't and mm-hmm. like 
two calls the whole season got overturned because those guys are like, fuck you. I, t- I made that call or I didn't make that call yeah. for a reason. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. so they're like, nope, I'm not overturning my shit. Okay. Because <sighs> that yeah, was after the Saints That's when Rams. I feel like New York has to make the fucking call, the well, final call. Well, those, like, you know what I mean? Those, like, if the, they fix it, you'll get me back. But until they fix it. I know. I agree. They pulled agree. that officiating crew. I saw that. They cannot yes. be in the playoffs. Yep. I be- saw that. Because of did see that, that yep. game, the, yep. the the Lions game. Yep. They bumped and a, them down. And a couple of yep. other games. They will yep. not be officials yep. in the playoffs. I did see that. So that's kind of what we've been asking is to hold these officials accountable. Yes. 100%. So if that continues to happen, eh. Maybe there's a lot of money involved oh, with, yeah. with betting. There's a lot of well, you know. There's seasons involved. There's things like that. There's a lot on the line there for somebody to just be like, eh, fuck it. And that's, also, that's my call. I don't. You know, know what I mean? Like it just. I don't know. Yeah, and I don't know if this is 100 percent true, but I don't think that NFL officials mm-hmm. make a shitload. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, I probably I make mean, a couple hundred grand a year. I would assume. Is it yeah. about that? Yeah, yeah. that's what I was. I, I don't know. Pension I, now. I've never looked, but I would assume that's. What and it is. that's kind of my thing. If you're making pretty goddamn good money, you better be pretty goddamn well, good. What's their full time job? Part time. You know? Part time. Oh, part-time. it is. I yeah, thought it was their some full-time. of them. No, as soon as the season's over, they're gone. Yeah. Oh, okay, but you know what I'm saying. During the season, though, that's yeah. just their full time. That's all they're doing. What, what was Hockey so. Lee? Wasn't he like a judge or some shit? Uh, no, he was like a fucking bodybuilder. I know, but I think he was a judge or some shit too. Whenever he Maybe. wasn't an official, wow. Maybe, but he was excellent. Uh, these guys are shit. So I, I don't know. I don't know what it takes, but hopefully the officials can, you know. Learn something after this year. These guys make Angel they Hernandez look, look fantastic. Fun. I know. <laughs> Speaking of Angel Hernandez and baseball, I don't know if you guys saw this, but this was absolutely fucking hilarious. Did you hear Frank Thomas died? No. Yeah. I like that? his hamburgers, though. You, you That's didn't, Dave. Same thing. Yeah. You know Frank, Frank his Thomas? His twin brother. Yeah. Uh, so, a, uh, so Fox reported uh, the death of Big Hurt Frank Thomas. Uh-huh. And uh, it, Frank Thomas did die, uh-huh. but it wasn't. That Frank Thomas. Oh, shit. It was like a third baseman for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh, shit. Not Frank Thomas. So oh, Frank shit. Thomas immediately tweeted out him in his car, and it's like, found I, I guess I found out I died today. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, fucking man. funny. That's funny. It's fucking great. So, so like, on the, on the broadcast, uh, this lady has to correct, and they have – Frank Thomas, Frank Thomas, his oh, picture up in with the dates and everything oh, of the shit. year he was born and then the day that he died. Oh, and then like all of a sudden just shit hits the fan because then she just goes, all right, we got to make a correction. <laughs> and so then, then everything starts coming down and it's like, I feel bad for the family of the guy who actually passed yeah, away because it's sucks. just like, oh, it was such a huge deal that Frank Thomas died, but then it's a different Frank Thomas. Like, ah, Fuck that guy. Like, yeah, who the yeah. fuck is that dude? That's awesome. But anyways, I figured that was uh, pretty damn funny. But anyways, that's good shit. That is the headlines I mean, for this week. Technically, Frank Thomas did die. He did. He did. I mean, he technically, did. you yep. did win four fantasy football <laughs> championships. Technically. Technically. I did. Yeah. Technically. Uh-huh. Uh, but anyways, those are this week's headlines. Now we get to move on to the fun. Uh, we get to move on to a lot of people's uh, suggestions. Monday Fun Day came out uh, without a hitch. Um, I put that out there, and there was quite a few of you guys that made comments and made suggestions. Thank you for that. Uh, and, I, and there was a lot that I actually held on to for a couple uh, episodes in the future. So thank you guys very much for participating. Every Monday I send that post out for the episode that's coming up. And... Uh, be uh, be on the lookout for next week's because that one I think a lot of you guys are gonna fucking love the show. Mm-hmm. That one. Uh, but anyways, we'll move on to never have I ever. Uh, mm-hmm. First one comes in from Matt Roberts. Uh, he wants to know never have I ever made out with a random on New Year's at midnight. Does your priest count as a random? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of weird, Steve. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like something you should probably tell somebody about. No. Like the authorities? I was told to keep it very close to my heart. <laughs> uh, I think I have. Well, no, that's been years. Yeah, he tells his other priest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no uh, it's, been, uh, it's been years and years and years, but I think that happened at a bar one time. It was just like, I think she grabbed me. and then we Really? Just, yeah, yeah. Well, you're a good looking guy. And she started fingering me and stuff. It was pretty <laughs> cool, but it was, uh, yeah. I bet that hurt the tip of your penis. Yeah, it did. It, yeah. it shed sharp probably nails. Some, probably some bruising. She's trying to yeah. thumb your sack yeah, a little bit? exactly. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. You've got cock fingered yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> sounding. But yeah, that's gosh, that was in like my twenties. Really? Yeah, that was a lot thinner. Ah oh, man, Can't I blame don't, her. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. I, I honestly think either I didn't kiss anybody or I was dating somebody and I kissed her. So no, I don't think so. I never, I never kissed a rando. Uh, how about you, Derek? I mean, you guys know the fucking answer to this. I never had any game. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you did. Never, ever have I had game. You scored your wife, who is an awesome human being. She's awesome. She's, She's so dope. cool. Man. You had to have She's some great. kind of game. Here's the it's deal. true. In 2016, when the Cubs were in the World Series, uh, me and my best friend Brian went to Chicago for an entire week and just fucking partied in Wrigleyville the whole fucking nice. time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And I had several of my friends go, you mean your wife let you and your boy, your best friend, go to Chicago in that kind of atmosphere, completely trusted you guys, yeah. and wasn't concerned? And my response was, my wife knew how weak my fucking game was whenever yep. I was there trying to go. date her. Yep. She knew she had nothing to worry about. 100%. Wow. So, no, yeah. I have not done that. Okay, fair enough. All right. I would have loved to, but I never did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next one comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know, never have I ever had an injury from doing something stupid. I know I have. I just don't know what the hell it is. Oh, God. I'm... I. I know I have, but I don't know which one to tell about. My wife fucked up her neck on Christmas jumping on the trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In the front yard? Uh, yeah, in the front yard. <laughs> Where it belongs. Like an asshole. She kind of deserved it. So, I mean, that was just normal. <laughs> oh, but, fuck. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I mean, a bunch of skateboard injuries and broken legs and arms. and Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, like just something like really dumb where it's like, oh no. Yeah, you like know? you ever broke up, uh, broke like your pinky toe from kicking something hard with yeah, your toes? Yeah, I punched a wall one time and <laughs> broke my hand because I was mad. And then I was like, fuck, this is worse. You're this like, is so much worse. You're like, god damn it. Yeah, ah, I broke shit. like these two fingers or something. Oh, yeah, fuck. I do remember that. Was, fuck, that was a long, long, long time ago. I, ago at least 30. I don't know if I broke anything. I was in a, an excruciating amount of pain, but especially in, in between my legs. Uh, because I uh, when your vagina is no no my nuts my oh, nuts all right. he's got both yeah. he's like Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> we have a bar we have a bar here in town called Club Rodeo oh yeah where they have live bull riding for yep. amateurs yep and Scotty rode a bull and you that, did oh yeah, yeah nice oh it fucking hurt. We'll it see a fucking, picture of it. It was like a pet it, camel or it, something that he was just <laughs> sitting on. Well, I'm, I'm small, Steve. It was probably like a just a big pig. A llama. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually the bouncer. Yeah, exactly. Dude, dude they, don't, they don't talk about it a lot, but man. Yeah, you should type that into Pornhub, riding the bowl, and see what comes up. <laughs> they don't tell you about it, but there's a reason why you wear chaps, and it, oh, fuck. Yeah, really? Oh, yeah, you're holding on for dear life, and you better hope to God that that, that bull comes out is not a spinner, or if it's a, if it's got a high kick, holy fuck, you're flying the fuck off wow. that thing. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's definitely something that uh, I probably had quite a few injuries from doing something stupid. Uh, Derek? So far, I haven't broken anything. Yeah? Uh, other than my pride. Yeah. yeah. I think the pride that, I don't know. Maybe the dumbest, which it isn't really that bad, it was embarrassing, was I was at the Kirby's. Yeah, I and know where Kirby's is. So I, I got kicked out, out of there. No, the, that was the, the, the vacuum. Yeah, I was there yep. when you got kicked yep. out of the shamrock. Yep. The I vacuum know. cleaner Kirby's? No, nope. uh, Kirby's bar. Oh, okay. The smallest little bar in Wichita. Okay. Yeah, so I, we were at Kirby's. I think it was a comedy thing I was up there for. Mm -hmm. And then uh, show got over. I had probably, I was buzzed. I was pretty buzzed. Yeah. And I'm used to hanging out at the Oasis. Mm -hmm. and so the Oasis has like backs on their bar stools. Yeah. So I sat on the bar stool at Kirby's and I think it was just me in there. Thank God. And I go to lean back and I'm leaning and I'm like, oh shit, there's no back. <laughs> and I just continue to just fall flat on the fucking floor. Like, nice. Oh, it fucking hurt so bad. That's awesome. It's a concrete floor. Derek yeah, has no abs, so he couldn't save himself. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It, oh, it wasn't when there? you're drunk, you don't oh, have Oh, yeah, that's period. right. You said you were tipsy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was like, oh, shit. It felt like slow motion <laughs> the whole way. That's like one of my favorite <laughs> stories that Jeremy tells whenever you guys went to Oh, Oklahoma. I cracked my fucking <laughs> yeah. head and dented the wall? <laughs> <Yes>. Yeah. 
That's fucking awesome. I wasn't dude. even drunk that night. I know. Yeah, I love it. That fucking hurt. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good episode to go back and and listen to. That story is fucking hilarious. My wife fucking broke her foot. Uh, oh, you told me about on that. our honeymoon. The day we got back from our honeymoon, she broke her foot oh, uh, walking off of a curb. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Yeah, my fourth question was, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Freshly married, and I go, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> How the fuck did you do that? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you okay? <laughs> I love it. Love I it. love it. That's good shit. All right. All right. Next one. Uh, next one comes in from, uh, I'm going to say Zach O. I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Zach Olkowitz? Maybe. Is that right? I yeah. think that's right. Zach Olkowitz, I think, is how that's pronounced. But if not, I'm sorry. I think it's Smith. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. My bad, Zach. Uh, Johnson. But, but Zach wants to know, never have I ever blacked out before the ball dropped. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yes. Many times. Many, many, many times. Blacked sure. out? Went to bed on purpose? Yep. Fuck. Yep. Dude. 100%. Oh, this was like, this is probably one of the first uh, New Year's where I stayed up to like celebrate the new year and yeah. probably five years oh okay i'm not a big new year's it's, i just owning a bar i do it every year yeah now. It i know sucks. It, it sucks for yeah. you i'm yeah i'm sure yeah Derek. oh yeah i've done that before. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've blacked out many a time yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> way before the doesn't the have to be the, the worst yeah <laughs> one of the most embarrassing days ever man there yep. was uh i went to a friend of mine's house back when we were like 20 and he had an apartment. He was 21. The other guy was 21. And then all the rest of us were 20. And we would party our ass off in that fucking place. Yeah. And he had a bunch of people over. And I got fucking shit canned. Like, I think I drank a bottle of vodka or a half a bottle of vodka in like an hour. Jesus. Nice. And so then I was like, all right. So then I just start mixing shit. And I'm sitting. I don't. I think I ended up in a car. <laughs> and then finished whatever the fuck I was drinking. And then I was like. Not even everybody had gotten there yet, and I was fucking done. And so I'm like, I'm going to go get sick, and I go into the bathroom to throw up, and then I just lay down in front of the toilet and pass out. Oh, no. So there's everybody like, was peeing standing on your back. There's like six hours of party left. Yeah, there's that's two, awesome. There's two bathrooms. That's the main one, and the other one was in like one of the guy's bedrooms. Holy shit. And so he let all the girls use the bathroom in his bedroom, and all the dudes are standing behind me pissing over me. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Ah, that's great. You woke yeah. up, you're like, why is my face wet? Yeah. This is weird. Why do I smell like asparagus? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Wes Rackley. He wants to know, never have I ever tried a dog treat. Fucking milk bone, baby. Are you fucking oh, serious? Oh, hell yeah. I've tried a milk bone. Really? Yeah, you just try a little bite of it. I was a kid. You know? Oh, well. Yeah, I got like dared to or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Well, awesome. What about as an adult? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like, the shit that they make for dogs almost looks better than human food. Sometimes. 100%. So, they're, yeah. they're claiming that now. Yeah. Now they're like, no, yeah. people can eat this too. And I'm like, yep. fuck. But I don't, I'm still never going to do it. No, I know. I'm not either. I know what it smells like yeah. when, when they throw it up. Yep. Yep. I can't do it. So I will, I will immediately gag. So no for me. Derek, I like it. No. 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 I might, I might have when I was a kid, but I don't remember it. But I wouldn't put it past me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I did a lot of dumb shit when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, well, I like it. This one uh, kind of rings in the whole uh, New Year theme, I guess, and wraps it up. Uh, this comes in from Young Star Block Boy. Hell yeah. Young Star Block Boy? Love yep. it. What is that? I think that's a rapper in that's Minecraft. Name. Sounds good. I fucking like it then. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever been sober on New Year's night. Oh, I've totally, lots of times. You've been sober? Yeah. All I, was, uh, I was sober this New Year's. You were? Yeah, because yeah, you had sure. you were slinging drinks yep, before. I, de I definitely have before. Um, I did not this last one. Uh, that was a bad decision on me. Uh, but that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. I fucking love this segment. Uh, there's a lot of good ones here. We're going to kick this off with Robert Pletz. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? How many times can you get blacked out at a bar before they stop letting you in? Derek? 
I don't know the answer to that question. I was going to say because I every am, single time <laughs> I am still allowed at the L. Yeah, <laughs> and I have been more than blacked out. <laughs> yes, uh, I, you got to do something really fucking stupid. I think. Yeah, I think so too. If you're just blackout drunk. That's one thing, but then when if you like unhook a chick's bra or fucking do you do that? Yeah, no, but I've kicked a guy out for doing that. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. later on in life he killed a guy. Uh, oh, dude, damn. I remember that dude. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! He was yeah. a fucking creep show when he was at the bar too. Yeah. He damn. Was a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. He it would was just my bar that or it was my bra that he unhooked. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, but you kind of like were like, hey, I don't know what you're. Yeah, that's things. true. Yeah. I was just, you know, like, I, I got an itch it. right here. Yeah. Can you just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, this is a perfect people to ask this question because both of you guys ran bars. Mm-hmm. I, I never have. Uh, I. It just depends on how much of an asshole you are. Yeah. Like if you're yeah. being a, just a piece of shit all the time, it's a great excuse to just ban you. Yeah. Like yeah. we don't want to fucking deal with it anymore. Yeah. But it, if it, it's like, all right, that's Joe. He's just a fucking dork. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. he just gets too drunk sitting by himself at the bar, and he gets kind of loud or whatever, and then leaves, and he comes in every day. Whatever. It also you know? depends on what you but, tip. That is true. That, that, makes it that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, if you're yep. like, oh, that guy comes in, leaves five on on a hundred. Yeah, uh, and yeah. you know what? F- he's he's never coming back. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, oh, that guy just put his nuts on the remote. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> but uh, but he tips a hundred every time I see him. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, damn it, we just got to keep buying new remotes. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah. I actually have a like. There's an actual person that's in my mind that I can think of that is is this this particular question guy. He's an excellent human being. He comes, mm-hmm. he goes into the same bar after work every single day, and they have a drink limit. He has a certain number of nice. drinks that he can drink. Yep. And I love the guy to death. He's yep. A, and he goes back and forth between like drinks that he wants, yep. so it's beer. And he comes in sober. He leaves fucked up every yep. single day. Yeah, you know, and Derek knows who I'm thinking of, but probably is it me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> he said limit. Yeah, oh fuck! Limit. Yeah, never mind. No, but anyway, huh. Steve can't have more than two bottles of Jameson. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Uh, all right, next one. This comes in from Kenneth Key. Uh, mm-hmm. He wants to know where you draw the line. How far is too far for a game of truth or dare? I think once like you a- start having sex with your relatives, it's too far. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah. Like that's, uh, that's, I don't know. That's, that's, like, that's where you probably should draw the line. Probably. I mean, yeah. I maybe even a little bit closer to something else other than that. That yeah. seems pretty extreme. Well, the third dick you've sucked. <laughs> I think that that's the end of truth or dare for me. It's like ah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's fair. It's kind of what annoying keeps now. you from lying? When you ever thought of that? Well, that's true. Like that's the thing. Like if somebody asks you a serious question, uh, like have you ever done something that you know? That's probably- what's the matter with all these fucking millennials. We didn't <laughs> used to have to lie in truth or dare. You're on the yeah. honor system. Yeah, exactly. Right. Nothing so, can be confirmed. I either. guess. Uh, but yeah, I. Uh, fuck. When the cops are called. Yeah, probably. That's so. a little too far, I think. Maybe. Uh, but it makes for a great story in the future. That's that's for sure. I'm gonna, True. I'm going to have to say, when you go into the adult store and have to ask where the kids section is. <laughs> <laughs> what, do they give you like a coloring book full of dicks? You guys uh, have the Epstein section yeah. here anywhere? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, all yeah, right. Where's your kilf section? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's awful. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right. Next. What one. is your hottest <laughs> snuff film that you have? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, next one. You got anything with my sister in it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes. Uh, I do. Actually. Yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Stephen Moat. Uh, oh, yeah. He wants to know how many fantasy football titles is too many to brag about before it gets annoying? One. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One. Unlimited. Half of one. Amount. Not even one. Unlimited. It's unlimited. Nope. nope. The fact is, it's a 12-team league. Everybody pays attention. It's extremely serious. And somehow I've won four. That's right. Four years in a row. No. Yes. Two, and then not one, and then one. Doesn't matter. Three's still pretty fucking crazy. But I say (laughs) unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, moving on. Moving on. Just uh, that question was annoying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's why I was like, ah, do I really want to do the fucking show tonight? I get. I, yeah, I know. I, I gave the credit to Stephen Moat, but that question was asked by probably three or four other people who listen. Really? To yeah. That they're trying to tell you something. Yeah, so. I know. They're saying it's fucking annoying, but that's kind of my job. So, anyways, uh, next one comes in from Matt Warden. He wants to know what's the what's the hot. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. He wants to know, what's the hot to annoying ratio you're question. willing to deal with for a relationship? This is a good question. This Man. Is a really good question. So, yeah. like, she's like a 10, but she's fucking annoying. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And a lot of times this happens when they start drinking. Like, Yo. they're hot as fuck. They're cool as shit. And then two drinks in, they're like, hey, oh guys, so fucking stabby. Like, <laughs> dude, I see it all the fucking time. I've dealt with it. I can't stand that shit. I, I fucking cannot stand it because when I drink, I get like happier and nicer and I don't usually have issues and stuff like that. But if you're having to like fight the bar because your dumb fucking bitch had one and a half drinks yeah. and she can't handle that shit. No, that's not good. I, I've broke up with chicks because oh. of that shit before. Oh, like yeah. multiple times. I yeah. believe you. Yeah, I, I believe you. I, I am very uh, personality is extremely, extremely important to me. Uh, so I, I would say, wow, oh, man, fuck. That's so tough. That is so fucking tough. Uh, what would you consider my wife? Like, that's the perfect individual. She's she's only annoying when she's she on her period. She doesn't even listen to this show, Scotty. I know. Keep but going. She's, yeah. on, she's only annoying when she's on her period. Other than that. All of them are. I know. It's amazing. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's like scheduled or something. Yeah. But uh, no, I would say like a six. Like you don't want to have a ten because the ten will be will be. I mean, I guess the fun. other the other factor there is like if it's Jennifer Aniston, and yeah. I mean obviously she's hot, but if she got annoying as fuck, but you're like, bitch, I might be able to marry into this bank account. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like I could probably put up with a little bit more, but when this bitch is driving a '92 Geo Metro <laughs> and she just sucks good dick, yeah, dude, we can find another one. I promise. <laughs> They're out there. Yeah, I promise. Right. How about you, Derek? <sighs> Me. <Ugh>. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I understand how easily fucking annoyed I get. Yeah, but I hate ugly bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like it. I like it. I just, That's a pretty good answer. I, I, oh my God. Yeah. You know, I five. Yeah, five. I like it. Yeah, I I like, gotta, it. like it's got to be a balance. I just, yeah. That's fucking awesome. Like, yeah, I don't want a chick that's got like a, a, a shit stain and goes to wear sweatpants all the time. Like, oh, uh, yeah. That yeah. say cutie on her ass. Yeah. Oh, that's juicy. She's got to be <laughs> she's got to be smaller than me. Like just yeah. just by 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, most of the chicks I go after, we'd look like the number 10. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, and last one. This comes in from C, Cla C Class Catastrophe. Uh, they want to know, uh, where do you draw the line? How long will you actually listen to a pointless story from your partner before you tune her out? Three seconds. You could turn off that fast? Dude, all of them are pointless stories. I know. Is there not a pointless fucking story? Yes. Nine times out of ten, it's a pointless fucking story. And she yells at me from across the fucking house and sounds like the teacher from Charlie Brown anyway. <laughs> and I can't understand it. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> sounds good. You don't know and what she's like. Bought. I told you about this. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, it's, yep. That is actually 100% of the time for me, too, because, like, she will start telling me a story i gotta say this quietly because i don't want her to hear me but she will start yeah but telling earlier me. you're like what's my wife she's perfect yeah she is yeah. Perfect. Yeah. that's why yeah. i screamed that yeah uh but no she'll start telling me a story she, about on like fucking period like uh, at, like from work she'll tell me like a work story that it's just like oh are you really fucking bitching about this you know what the <laughs> fuck ever and so i will immediately turn her out or tune her out and then she'll like go into something else and like tell me hey we're gonna be doing this on this weekend and yeah. i'm still tuned out yep and then she'll 100%. tell me like a couple of days later remember i told you i was like i yep. guess i guess i forgot uh-huh so yeah that's that's yeah definitely i like it how about you Derek? Oh, i don't think i necessarily tune it out but you'll see me she'll start talking and, and like it'll be something and i'm like all right and then I'll pick my phone up. <laughs> I'll just start <laughs> scrolling through Facebook. I'm like, oh, no way. Like, uh. <laughs> so, really, that's fucked up. Yeah, uh, yeah. you got to do that. And yeah. so I would say probably like 
Uh, I mean, I'll give her 30 seconds in. Okay. Oh, and I'm like, it. if you're going like somewhere it. with this. Now, I've got some friends, too, that take forever to get the fucking story out. Yeah. Like, all these unnecessary Dude, details. and as, as comics with word economy and shit like that, too, it's just, like, oh. more noticeable. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, holy fuck, dude, hurry up. Yes. Like, yeah. let's get to the yeah. point. Like, yep. now I'm to the point where I just want to fat. <laughs> Yep. Fast forward. 100%. Like, I already know where this is going. And Just that's why I'm getting a visectomy. Yeah, All exactly. right. There it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line uh, for this week. Now we get to move on to questions and <laughs> preguntas. Man, we had quite a few good questions. Uh, we even have a bonus question this week. Woo! Yeah. Um, first one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know what's the last thing to do before the clock hits twelve o'clock. What, like on New Year's? Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, what's the last thing to do before the clock hits New Year's? I'm gonna take a shot, I guess. That's what I put. Yeah. You know, but if you were like in a really shitty situation, mm -hmm. what do you think it would be then? Sacrifice a reindeer to mark the end of the holiday season. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's perfect. Yes. That's not. A, there's no better answer. No. That's <laughs> yep. great. Hopefully, then you it's just a, gotta hold him by the antlers as his neck bleeds out. Hopefully, yeah. it's a yeah. baby reindeer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, oh, its nose is glowing. Fuck it. Kill it. <laughs> Let's go. It's a fucking Chernobyl reindeer. <laughs> oh God. Uh, next one is from Dan Franken. He wants to know what's the best word, phrase, or statement that best describes how your 2023 went. Uh, one word or phrase. Best word, phrase, or statement. Fuck. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's the. Uh, that's all it is. Uh, I put. I put. Drop. Kick me, Jesus. Nice. Yeah. That'd I like be, it. That'd be mine. I like it. Derek. Uh, no one out pizzas the hut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, buddy. That's um, great. I, uh, I gained a little weight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I'm a 4X in PJs now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's great. They don't even make pornos that high of X I love it. That's, oh, that's awesome. Uh, we're going to come back to Taylor's here in a second. Uh, okay. We're going to go with uh, this one comes in from Cody Duffy. Oh, yeah. He wants to know. What are your guys' boldest predictions coming in the new year? Ooh, you want to hear, like, my fucking total, <laughs> completely out there, like, crazy thoughts? I'm so Let's terrified. Mm. Yeah. I think they kill Biden, <laughs> and I think they make Gavin Newsom run, and I think Trump either gets dead or imprisoned. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think happens, man. Son I think it's a, a rigged fucking game. And I think the people that are rigging the game the most are in charge right now, and it just gets worse. Oh, I hope you're so wrong. Me too. I really do. I, I very much hope I'm It wrong. doesn't matter what side you're on. No. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whoever has the power fucks around the most. Yeah, and it, that's it. That's scary. I'm terrified that that happens. Yep. Um, But I'm going to kind of go along the same lines. You know what mm -hmm. I'm going to predict? What's that? I'm going to predict that Epstein list comes out. And you're on it's it. It's already actually coming out. Doe 32 is uh, uh, is Clinton, Clinton, and he's mentioned like 66 <laughs> times or some shit. <laughs> I think that, the, but the main reason why I'm continuing with this mm -hmm. is because I am betting that a bunch of big, huge celebrities start vacating the United States. Mm, I don't think that'll happen. Tom Hanks has already moved to Greece. Really? Yes. Hmm. So, well, holy shit. But yeah. It's, yeah. That, uh, well, he was just studying for his role in big. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Had to figure out how to be a child. Right. Uh, how about you, Derek? I'm going kind of out there. I know that I'm not necessarily the most religious guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, and I, I know they've been saying it for years. Jesus comes back. But I think Jesus is coming back. Oh, there yeah. You go. And he's going to sign a seven year, $1 billion deal with the Dodgers. Yep. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. No, 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 no. You're thinking of Jesus. <laughs> no, it's Jesus. No, it's Jesus. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. He didn't know full no trade. <laughs> yeah. No trade clause. <laughs> Uh, you'd, think like he, you'd think he'd want to play for the Angels, but he does not. No, he doesn't. no, it's Fuck amazing. It. Going full scumbag Dodgers. Yeah, 
Uh, let's go with uh, Taylor's question. She wants to, uh, Taylor Morosky. Uh, mm-hmm. She wants to know unlikely TV shows or movies to have on in the background while you're having sex. That Dahmer documentary. Holy yes. fuck! Yeah, or not documentary, but miniseries. Oh mm-hmm. Jesus Christ! Just fucking laying the meat to her, and you just hear, "Come on, I just want to take some photographs." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh God! I was gonna say unsolved mysteries. Oh, dude, mm-hmm. that would be a distraction. Or the guy with uh, that show with Chris Hansen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's just popping all the fucking... Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, this is actually a true thing. This actually is for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, watch The Office. If you have The Office on in the background, those shows are only like 20 minutes long each. So, like, it, it, it is in the background. The, the fucking intro music for The Office is coming on. And That's then, awesome. And then if you make it through that, then... You end up laughing, and that's the weirdest <laughs> fucking feeling when you are having sex with your wife, and both of you are laughing because of the joke that you've seen 50 million times already before. She was not laughing at the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh-huh. What about uh-huh. World War II footage? Mm. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. That's All quiet terrible. on the Western Front. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Black Hawk Down. Napoleon. Yeah. Napoleon. Yeah. yeah that'd like be good. Did you watch Napoleon yet? No, not yet. Dude, him fucking good. in that thing is hilarious. Really? Really? Oh, God damn. It's funny, dude. You I have to watch it, it just for the fuck scenes. Nice. <laughs> it's hilarious, dude. <laughs> it's like it. a goddamn jackrabbit. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I'm excited. Uh, I right. giggled every time. I was like a fucking teenager. Yep. Uh, next question. Uh, this one comes in from Jason Harris. He wants to know what's a strange way to cure a hangover. Dude, my weirdo wife drinks like bone broth and shit. It's kind of strange. I don't I, know. I, I, I think a greasy cheeseburger and like you know aspirin or something. I think that actually works. But yeah. what's a strange way to cure a hangover? I don't know. That was the only one I. Came that was the strangest one I've ever heard. Of. I immediately thought major pain and, and somebody kicking me in the nuts. Oh, you yeah. take your mind off of that fucking headache. If if you get kicked in the nuts, that is true, dude. Cure that That's fucking true. Yeah, absolutely. That could, yeah. Uh-huh. How about you, Derek? Fuck, I don't know. Sacrifice another animal. I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's an nice. armadillo. You, you got to kill an armadillo. I, I then think, drink its bone broth. I nice. think it should just be. A, I think it should just be a cat, a house cat. You got to. I'm allergic. It. I can't drink bone broth from a cat. No, you got to sacrifice get a cat. Dander in it. Yeah. If you sacrifice a cat, it doesn't say you got to like. You know, cut them with a knife. You could just shoot them with a shotgun. There you go. Yeah. Just splatter the cat everywhere. Yeah, yeah. fuck the cat. Uh, and last but certainly not least, uh, this one comes in from at Kai Choken. Uh, Kai Joken. Uh, I think what? it's K Y Joe Can. It could be K Y Joe Can. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's talking about watching Dahmer documentaries when he fucks <laughs> and sacrificing animals. Like, yeah. I mean, you got to get hard somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, anyways, Kai Jokan wants to know rejected names for an orgasm. Mm. Planned seizure. Planned mm. seizure? A planned seizure. Caesar. Ah, planned oh. seizure. Yeah. I thought you were Caesar. Like it was like a Bloody Mary, or no, hmm. no, it's a planned seizure. You know it's coming. Get it? Hmm. I had to. Uh, I, I had one on the tip of my tongue, but then your fucking idiocy just <laughs> actually <laughs> killed it. Uh, let's see. What, uh, if it's coming from a woman, it's a lie. Yeah, that's that's the other one I got. It's like a little squirt contest or something. <laughs> yeah. Let's see who can squirt first. <laughs> It's always me. It's like uh, the carnival game at it's the, the, with the fucking yeah the yeah game. yeah exactly exactly that's awesome huh yeah. I don't know man I didn't get a chance to look at these today because I was fucking busy yeah how about you Derek I don't know maybe like an, an erection eruption <laughs> there yeah, you go that's good I, I like, like it, it. I like it I'm fat so I'm gonna go with a girth quake there you <laughs> oh, go nice. hell nice. yeah nice very well done there K-Y you go. Joe can that's right. Ah, uh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Yay! All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the laughing on the sidelines draft, and uh, 
I you okay? No, <laughs> it's it's my noise. I make it sound I, like you sound like that guy that sneezes at when I work. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got a guy at work that sneezes that way. They don't know this. <laughs> I came into work this morning and he was like, "How was your New Year's?" And I go, "It was all right. How was yours?" And he went to sneeze. He's like, "Huh? Huh?" <gasps> 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 <laughs> I was like, well, apparently your resolution wasn't to learn how to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But uh, anyways, last week's draft uh, was... <laughs> what? Oh, Sorry. Shit. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> moving sorry. on. Go sorry. fuck yourself, Derek. <laughs> in other news. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, but no, uh, last week's draft was New Year's resolutions that you will not... Uh, mm-hmm. Follow through with, and none other than Mr. Steve Peters. Yeah. With the win. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks. That's right. I so. will be happy to say that No Nut 24 has already <laughs> gone down the tubes, <laughs> literally. It turns out that you couldn't last a few that times. Long. Yeah. yeah. Say, down the yeah. hatch, don't yeah. come yeah. back. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, that means that Steve will get the championship picks. Uh, mm-hmm. I did not do very well, but JP's not here, so I get the uh, sandwich picks by technicality. And uh, Derek was not here, so he gets the overall first pick. And ladies and gentlemen, I we got an excellent suggestion from a listener. This uh, is from Cole McKinstry, I believe is how he pronounces his name. But anyway, Cole, uh, Cole came up with a great idea. We are going to do a draft, and uh, this is basically the situation. You are a robber, but you can only rob things that slightly inconvenience people. What are you stealing? Mm-hmm. I like this. Me too. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to see what uh, what happens. Derek, with the first pick, what do you got? I'm stealing your phone charger. God mm-hmm. damn it. Oh, that is a good one. That is a large Son inconvenience. A that is not a minor inconvenience. No, it's not the end of the world, though. It's you, true. You can go and you got to find one or you go buy one. And then Derek's very true. And then I just stealing. go steal it again. Exactly. That's very God true. God damn it. Very true. Um, <clears throat> I am stealing all of your toilet paper. Mm. Mm, that's a good one. I mm. am stealing all of it. So you have to wipe your ass with your hand or clothing. I'm getting a bidet. <laughs> now Steve's like, I'm stealing the bidet. That's right. Yeah, 100%. Steve, you get two in a row, man. So kind of along the lines with the toilet paper, I was going to say I am stealing all but two squares of toilet paper in every single bathroom. But you can't steal, you can't steal the same thing. Yeah. You got to pick something it's different. not really the same thing. It all is. right. Well, I'm stealing every other oven knob. <laughs> <laughs> and I am stealing every single lighter in the house so Damn that you it. can't light candles, you can't light a barbecue, you can't do anything. Oh, man. Man, mm-hmm. shit! And if the power goes out, exactly, it's dark. Okay, I am going to take. I'm trying to think here. I am. Ooh, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take all of your your uh, like body wash and shampoo products. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. You are going to be a stinky son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So. I have three more. You do have three more. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about you, Derek? Well, you can see what's important to me. Uh, I'm stealing the remote controls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn it. That's great. Because that guy keeps putting his balls on him. That's right. <laughs> All uh, right, and you get another one. I am taking all the toothpaste. <laughs> oh, shit. We were kind of going along the same lines there. Okay. I. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. I am going to go with my next pick, and I am going to steal all of the air out of your tires of Uh, your vehicles. I don't know if that really counts. Pretty weak. Pretty weak. What? You no. don't think I don't think uh, you okay, can steal there. You can't steal that? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Fine. I'm going to steal all your light bulbs. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be in the dark. That's a good one. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. And Steve, you get two in a row. 
All right. The first thing I'm going to steal is all of the drawer and door pulls on your cabinets and drawers. <laughs> okay. So you have to actually like grab the drawer and yeah. try and open it that way that's and then great. try and like finger fuck the doors on the cabinets <laughs> to open them. That's great. I think that's fun. That's fun. And then uh, I'm going to steal all of the power cords for your TVs. Oh, man. That's that's good stuff. Mm. Okay, I am going to steal. Can I steal your toilets? I think so. Is that? Yeah, is that I think too that's big? acceptable. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. You I'm can going still to shit show- in the hole. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm gonna steal your toilets. Uh, and Derek, you get your last two in a row. Uh, I am gonna steal your uh, your modem. Your modem. Oh, for your internet? sweet! That's so, crazy. Yes. So you can have a router, but it's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. And then I am going to steal. I'm going to steal your glasses. <laughs> oh, mm. that's that sucks because that's what I was going to say. I was going to say your contacts or some shit yeah. like that, but fuck. Okay, I don't. No, what the fuck? I'm gonna steal. Um, God, I am going to steal all of your uh, like cleaning products, like your, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I do that? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know what to call it though, because that's more than one thing. Cleaning yeah. products. Okay. Just yeah. Know. I'll go with that. I then. mean, all the doorknobs and shit are one thing too. Ah, more yes, than one yeah, thing. You know what I mean? It, yeah, so. it's true. And then Steve, what is your last? Pick? I am going to steal all of your left shoes. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yep. Jokes on you. I'm probably going to be diabetic. So <laughs> I only need one shoe. <laughs> oh, hopefully it's the right one. There you oh, go. Shit. God damn it. That's a very fun fucking draft. Do you guys have any other like uh, honorable mentions? Hmm. I blanked. I, after after I got light bulbs, I couldn't think of anything off the top of my head. Toilets and cleaning products? Come oh, on. oven mitts. I was going to steal all the Ooh, oven mitts. That's kinda, yeah. That sounds kind of yeah. fun. Oven mitts and towels. I was going to steal your like plates. Towels and good. Yeah. I was going to steal like your plates and shit like that. Steering yeah. wheel. There you go. Ooh, that'd yeah, be a good one. That'd be annoying. Because the shit. first thing that comes to your mind is like keys, but that's a big thing. That's like a, yeah. you, know, you just took away the actual like car. So I don't want to do that. Um, I any, like it. Any others? All of your laundry detergent. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah. Fuck. Just annoying shit that you have to go to the store for. Yeah, you know? exactly. Or it's like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines and vote. Uh, you can also go to, uh, I know it's Twitter, X, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and that is L-O-T Sidelines, and vote for the list that you like the most for, what is it called? <laughs> Shit that you take uh, the, from everybody. Yeah, the annoying things that you would steal if you yeah, were a robber. Yeah, the things you would steal if you were a robber, only things that are slightly that, that will slightly inconvenience somebody. Yes, I'll there, figure we it out. there we go. Uh, but anyways, uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge here in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, yeah, for sure. Come sing silent karaoke. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) And you get to meet Steve's wife. Yay. She'll be the one fucking up the mixer. (laughs) With the crook in her neck. Yep. Right. Not being able to figure it out. Or just yelling at people. Exactly. Or yelling at, yelling at Steve. She's a bit of a yeller. Yeah. Old yeller? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we had to put her down. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Anyways, all right. Uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. Uh, I like this one. That's uh, great. Yeah. Uh, would you rather um, you are, or what, what, what did you say? You, you verbed it. Well, yeah, you better. did this perfectly. You did this perfectly. You got blackout drunk and you've been banned from two place. One of two places. You're either banned from the gas station or you're banned from the grocery store. This I is, like it. I love this. 
but that's I, actually a shitty situation. I know, but I have a cheat code. I do too. It I have me because the go- grocery store has gas stations. No, nope, no, nope, no, not at all. No, nope. be- Scotty and I are on the same page on this one. It's because the wife. Yep. Always goes yep. and gets the groceries. Yep. I need to get gas. Yep. Yeah, I can't be driving down the highway in fucking Montana or something and yes. have to call somebody at 1 a.m. to come get me. Hey, take me hey, to a gas station. Do me a favor. Come and drive your car here. Yes. And yes. then you go and drive my car to the gas station. 100%. <laughs> I couldn't do it. But if I'm banned from a grocery store, I'm fine. Yeah. I can't. Dude, yeah. I don't even know when the last time I've been to a grocery store. Like, it's yeah. been a long time because my wife spoils the shit out of me. Yeah, I've been so, there several times so, in the past two weeks. I, yeah. So I, I think that at least it won't be a deal breaker if I got banned from the grocery yep. store. But I, I tell you what, however I got banned from it, I probably went out swinging. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna, That's awesome. I'm going to fucking take it all the way there. he got banned because he got drunk and wore his stupid little belt into the grocery store and I, people got annoyed they're I've, like you can't come back sir. i shit you not i won four times technically kind of <laughs> <laughs> they're like get this mental patient out of here uh i did wear it into the oh my to the liquor store oh my goodness yeah i did oh boy i did and you know what i got the same reaction i i get every time i wear it hey did you win no Oh, I'm just fucking putting it on for fucking shits and giggles. I love it. So, yeah. But, yeah, uh, my my answer is the grocery store. Uh, okay. Derek? I like it. I'm surprised I haven't been banned from the gas station. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. There was a day where I drank a lot. Yeah. I, I had a month. It was a month of May one year, uh, and it was conveniently titled because I may have been sober one day that month. Yeah. Jeez. Like I was going through some shit. Nice. And I got a handle of Sailor Jerry's rum. Holy crap, dude. And I started that handle at like 11 o'clock that morning Uh huh. and proceeded to drink that almost all of it that day. Holy shit. Um, That's a lot. I got it down is. to about that much in there, like just a couple of fingers worth at the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, I went to a friend's house. I was at a friend's house for part of the day, and then I was going to stay the night there, and then I was like, no, I'm good to drive. Oh, shit. So here I go. They've got my keys, but I had a little hide-a-key thing. Oh, you're a a wise one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get you. (laughs) So I fucking get the hide-a-key, and I got the house key, and I drive home, and I'm like, fuck. I need more mixer for my rum. Oh, shit. So I stop in at Quick Trip at 235 in Central. Nice. It's about 1 in the morning. And I walk in, and I go to get a 2 liter of Diet Coke, and I drop it. Oh, shit. And it sprays everywhere. Oh, shit. And then I'm like, fuck. And I go to grab another one, and I drop it. Oh, shit. (laughs) And it sprays everywhere everywhere <laughs> to the quick trip clerk has to just be like get this asshole out of here so then i go to get a third one. Oh no <laughs> I, I get it to the counter yeah and i go man i am so sorry i'm so sorry man let me here give me a towel and he's like dude i'll clean it up it's fine and i'm like no no, no i gotta clean this up man and he's like dude it's fine and i was like here's twenty dollars you just take that and he goes <laughs> no just go and i'm like <laughs> and then, <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like... All of a sudden, Derek's just the drunk, annoying girl at the bar. (laughs) Right? And I'm like, yeah, it was was three to a ten there. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm right next door to the police station. (laughs) Oh, shit. I need to go now. Yeah. (laughs) So, like, I instantly sobered for a second, got home, and then finished my rum. (laughs) Nice. God. Uh, I love it. With that being said, I will take... uh, I'm going to take the grocery store. I don't like going. Yeah. I don't um, know. And I can get food at the gas station. Yeah. There you go. Well, you know what? I'll, there you, you know go. Fuck it. Ban me. I'll get some taquitos. Yep. Yep. So we're all right now. Healthy on, eating. They yeah. sell lettuce. So I guess just give me some lettuce on pump and, and five on pump three. Right? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> fuck yeah. Eating like a turtle for the 2024. I am, uh, I am starting the carnivorous diet. Yeah. You started I'm going to do like- all meat. Uh, yeah, starting to. I wasn't able to do it today. I had uh, damn, it's too bad. J- JP's but, not here. Right? Yeah, yeah no. I, exactly. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna do it for 30 days and see what happens. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I think I will too. Yeah, I, I think will you will. Too. I yeah. I did. Okay, here's. I, I totally forgot to say about this, but 
I did try to do the uh, the fast. Yeah. The th- the three day fast yep. or whatever it is. Yep. Well, you don't eat for three days. You don't eat yeah. for three days, and you go and you get what beef is this, Bible times beef broth or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I did that for an afternoon and, <laughs> and said. I'm fucking hungry, <laughs> and I had to eat. I love it. That's and out awesome. of all of the shit that I could have ate, Steve, yeah, I had, I have, I was doing the current carnivore thing. I had steaks in the fridge, yeah, but I was so hungry, and I wanted fucking Ziggy's pizza so bad. Oh, it sounds amazing. So I went and got the worst possible shit that you could eat. That's awesome. And ate a whole fucking pizza. Nice. So oh, fuck God. that. Nice. I still have uh, five boxes of uh, beef bone broth if you want it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But anyways, that's actually the new name for an orgasm. Yeah. It's bone broth. <laughs> bone, yeah. Beef like bone it. broth. Take like my it. bone broth. <laughs> yep. I love it. Well, shit. So, Steve, yes, who do you sir. got coming up at the comedy club uh, before, uh, well, for this month? Get little Tommy Takar coming up, I think. Yeah. Hang on here. Let's see. Is Dave Chappelle coming up? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Dan Green from Australia will be here the 18th, 19th, and 20th. That'll be fun. Tom Takar will be here the 25th, 26th, 27th, and 8th, 9th, and 10th. We have Ben Jones, 15th, 16th, 17th, Nat Bamel. And 26th through 24th, we've got Barry Laminick and Mike Baldwin. There we go. Get on yeah. Mike, Mike Baldwin. Oh, March 7th, we got Daniel Leaches, my buddy. I've opened for him a bunch oh, of times. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, do us a favor. Uh, come on out. If you are in the Wichita area and you get an opportunity to go to Vorshay's yeah. Lounge to see a comedy show. Uh, go to VorshaysComedy.com. It's fucking fun. It's a, it's, it's a cool fucking place, too. It is. Uh, uh, I, I've always been meaning to ask you, what it, did it used to be a movie theater? It did. It was a porn theater, actually. Perfect. And it, was, uh, it started out as a vaudeville theater. That's It was built in like 1892 yeah. as a vaudeville theater. Yeah. Jeez, it's a cool fucking, yeah, it's a cool place. It is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if Neat you have not spot. gone there and, and cougars flock there like yes. you would not believe. You need a threesome with a cougar? Go yep. check it out. I think they're just called broads now, Scotty. <laughs> We're old enough to wear. They're think. mountain lions. That's right. They're our age We're now. Say, yeah, they're not cougars anymore. They're just broads. That's true. I like it. But guys, uh, Steve Peters, thank you very, very much <laughs> thank again. You. Love thank you. Love having you on the show. Derek, I love it. The Rec Alders, thank you as well. You're uh, welcome, Scott. Yeah, love having you guys on. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we do have a possible... <laughs> Uh, show next week that you guys will want to tune in for. Look for that announcement Monday, fun day uh, to confirm, but I guarantee you, you are going to want to see that one. Yes. Uh, but guys, as we always like to say, thank you very much, and do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And mm-hmm. if you don't like us... Uh, we hope your name gets released with Epstein's flight log. Yes! <laughs> yeah! If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... You're now free to move about the country. <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye.